double chase. And here we are, the free city of Novograd. It's taken us 46 episodes to get here, but boy, it's going to be worth it. Now then, where are we going to start off? Such an enormous city, it uh, can swallow you whole if you let it. Okay, so the Pyres of Novograd, that's the centre square of Novograd here with the notice board. Visit Triss in her house. That's straight ahead of us. But I think what we want to be doing is heading south first towards our stash. And this is, should be a Tory, yes it is, of Swords and Dumplings. He's the weaponsmith that we've been sent to talk to. That's the boat that's going to take us over to Skellige. That's not for a while yet. And we've got ourselves another notice board. As you can see, three in very close proximity, so already Novograd is promising to be rich with quests and characters alike. Come on, good folk, come quickly. I haven't enough for everyone. Ah, this is our vendor to chat to. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push, enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. <laughs> I like this guy. Alright, let's see what he's got on offer. Uh, we're not going to be playing any Gwent this episode. Uh, we've done quite a bit of that in the past few on occasion. So this is just going to be purely exploring Novograd and any quests we happen across. Let me have a look. Uh, dust and... Oh, he does actually sell a mandrake cordial. Pepper. Probably actually will get that. That'll do. So sapphire dust, emerald dust. I wonder how much of that dust I've actually got now. Whoa. <laughs> 20 emerald dust, 18 sapphire dust. Ruby dust sells quite nicely. Diamond dust sells the best. Makes sense, I guess. Bye. See you later. Oh. We'll see plenty of little areas like this throughout Novigrad, stalls and shops set up for all the civilians and townsfolk. Again, we have to be very careful not to loot anything with all these guards poking around. Like all this. <laughs> what village are you from? Willows. It's into me area too. Plenty of shady individuals here. Ah, we're here. This is where our stash is located in Novigrad. The Rosemary and Time. And as you can see, I've, I haven't actually been back to my stash when I've been recording it. I've been doing quite a little bit of uh, hoarding, as it were, of quite a bit of gear. So give me one moment while I drop some of this stuff off. Right, that should do. So this particular tavern will become of a lot more importance a little later on in the story. As of right now, you can see it's where vagrants and beggars are currently taking residence. Should be fine to loot up this place. No, you're having none of my money. I need it all, believe me. Oh, that was quite nice. Same again there. Can I get out here? Nope, can't get out the back way. Selendine in here, okay, fair enough. Walking about all doing Where are that from? Scaring decent folk. Let's get out of the open now. Gonna be sick. Okay, let's head round this way, loop round. Atari should be in this general direction. Oh, we've got another gate here entrance. Gate of the Hierarch. Wouldn't surprise me if this is actually the main entrance. It does look a lot more shiny and intimidating than the other ones, isn't it? Then again, there are witch hunters guarding the door. See these guys? The witches, then we'll come for you, don't you worry. Ha! I like to see you try. 
Yeah. See those guys? They're going to be quite a bit of trouble for us very soon. Vespula's laundry. We clean everything but your pockets. Drop your trousers off today, pick them up, clean as new tomorrow. Calling me a moron, yes. The people unfortunately do not get more polite in the big city. What was that? What? Shit, we've got a thug trap to attack us. He's scaring all the townsfolk. Oh, there's a few of them. Fucking hell. No, that wasn't very polite, was it? Especially in our first visit to Novigrad. We do not want to be interrupted. And we're in broad daylight nonetheless. Well, I suppose we can sell the weapons, there's always that. Is there even more down there? There is, isn't there? That looks like even more. Oh no. Alright. That actually looks like fist fighting. We'll, uh, we'll leave that for the time being. Head back to this main square. Alright, here we go. No. Shit will come to the wrong place. John just swore it was a tool he's had. And with a warranty. Go on. Ooh, okay, there's uh, not some nice words to be said about Hattori already. This must be our fellow. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Uh, yeah, sure. Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn, and they say he plays cards with Cleaver frequently. 
Uh, yeah, who's uh, Ernst Van Horn? Ernst Van Horn? Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Hmm. So that this Cleaver must be the head dwarf of Novigrad. We've seen his men patrolling on the outskirts. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Yeah, we're waiting for that, but if you can craft me some weapons, uh, oh hell yes. Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars men. Take it he's important in the underworld too. Yes. What's more, he's on piss poor terms with Cleaver, who backs Van Horn. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Christ, he's offering all sorts of stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, let's arrange a meeting. I like the sound of that. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Swords and dumplings. Now, this is a level 25 quest, so I sort of get the feeling we're not going to be doing that quite now, but. Night time is uh, upon us now. Now, you sit down near the docks, didn't I? It's got to be there. Yeah. Level 24, okay, so it's gone down by a level. Still 10 levels above us, light, so nothing we can do quite just yet. Well, we have got a shopkeeper up here, so we can go and have a little look. Greetings, Your Honour. Good to see you again. Bring us the usual. Of course. Keep this up and you'll earn yourselves a preferential rate. Good, I enjoy shagging freaks. Three titted wenches abandoned all the world. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black bars, economically. Oh dear. Alright, uh, hey, oh, hey, how the hell can you see me from there? You've got ears like a hawk! Can I actually get him here? Oh, I've read. You here? There, I'm just gonna quick save, because I'm gonna cheekily try and loot this place. Actually, I know I shouldn't. This uh, isn't where this vendor is. Why don't we get in here? Oh, it's not just going to be up here, is it? Yep, it is. Alright, past it. Oh no. Locked. Can't get in here either. Someone was in there talking to me. 
Now I'm just baffled and confused. Ah well. We'll leave that for now. Oh, we have got Herbalist over here though, and since we are now in Novigrad, these should have quite a bit of recipes for us that we don't have yet. A good one to you, young man. Here's all agree, but by your face and straight back, I know you to be in your youth. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. I've all sorts gathered near about. You'd be surprised what useful plants grow by the roadside. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's hood, for instance. Lovely blossom. Soothes aches and pains, but just a handful and you could poison a whole family. A very useful plant. Yeah. What else would you recommend? Have a look, young man. You seem learned in these matters, so I'll show you my special stock from under the counter. I like this guy. He keeps calling me young man. <laughs> uh, right, no, no, Gwen, not today. So let me see what you got. You just might have the herbs I need. You just... Mm, quest bundle of burdock. I have no idea what that is, but we know it's for a quest. Uh, I'll leave that for now, uh, so let's have a look what he's got. So, Manuscript, Enhanced Full Moon, not particularly fussed. Now, White Radovid's Decoction, I will take. Enhanced Blizzard, and Enhanced Northern Wind. Yes, and... Yes. Okay, we'll grab both of them. What else is he selling? Bison grass, that's quite hard to get hold of. Arenaria is fine, we should have plenty of that. Mistletoe. Is he selling this cheaper or is it just me? And I wonder if he will actually buy some of my honeycombs since I've got 69. Uh, four. Nah, not worth it. Uh, Wolfsbane. Bear fat, 50 each. Bloody hell. I think that'll do nicely for now. We've got a couple of. Few things I think I'll actually buy the Dinesha petals. Yeah, I think that'll do. Just having a look at a couple of them, see if it's ones that I might uh, not be able to gather up with uh, with ease. It's just the seeds and whatnot, really. Alright, let's have a little look what we can craft. So, should it be Enhanced Northern Wind? Excellent. What do we need for that? All Spice. Ah, so it was Stamilford's Dust, which we've got plenty of. I said plenty for, but... Okay, Dancing Star, we need Nigredo. So really, we need a lot of Cherry Cordial. And I can create five White Gold Potions. So I'm going to need to speak to the first Innkeep that I come across and get some of them. Because I need them all to make Rebus, I need it to make Ether. And I need it to make Nigredo. What about potions? Enhanced white radovids, we can do straight away. Excellent. And we have a couple of decoctions, but that's still going to be to do with the red mutagens, which we do not want to do. So, with the bombs, which one do we think is best out of this? Dancing Star? Because that's a f I do quite like Dancing Star. I tell you what, let's make Negredo. I think what I might actually do is I'll make a better red mutagen to stop my temptation of accidentally using it in one of the decoctions. Uh, and I think that's that. I don't think I really need to sell... Uh, actually, I'll sell... Why not? I'll sell... Ten Drowner Brains. Get myself a little bit of coin. He's quite pricey, this guy. He's got quite a bit of money. He's uh, quite well off this vendor, which is uh, makes it a change. Take care. That was a pleasure doing business with you. Believe me. A couple of really handy recipes I just got off him. So I won't buy them all because you can, of course, still find them throughout on the travels. But some of the really good ones are worth getting when you see them. Like Swallow, for example. Swallow, Tawny Owl, I'd probably get them immediately if I ever came across them. Another vendor up here. 
Well, I know who that is before even reading it. The gods have heard the land's cry. Its people's long wait is over. King Radovid will save the north. Yes, he's looking very noble in that picture, isn't it? We'll see if uh, those posters stay true to the name. Oi, Coca! Little hint, they don't. What's in here? Now let's head in towards the main square. We've got a little offshoot of a river here which leads into the harbour. There we are. Well, 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 Don't you start. So there's three ships currently docked up in Novigrad's harbour at the moment. You can speak to all three of the captains and each of them will give you a different way of either possibly letting you get to Skellige or they will deny you their services. So not all of them will help you get there. It's quite foggy out tonight actually. Winds howling. Thanks, Geralt. <laughs> We can go at it here. So, let's have a look. Okay. That way was for Tori, wasn't it? Therefore, we want to be heading this way. Oh. To resist the temptation of pressing E, you cannot loot, I cannot afford to. What? Come on. Swinging wildly, mate. You need to learn how to fight. But you ain't gonna be doing any learning no more. Well, these henchmen seem to not give two shits about the fights breaking out in front of them. Hey, oh, we know who that is. The necromancer and witch Philippa Eilhart has been declared a public enemy. Information leading to her capture will be rewarded. Yes, crossed paths with her before, many a time in our past. Sweet. Oh god, does it. Oh, hey up. Triss Merigold, witch and harlot, is wanted for the practice of black magic and conspiracy against the crown. Information leading to her capture will be rewarded. So it's the witch hunters that are putting up all these posters and signs and the witches and sorcerers that reside in Novigrad are in terrible danger of being flushed out. Head back through this way. Nah, let's uh, let's go head round to the docks. Mm. Mm. That's right, man. Fucking get out of my way. Novigrad's harbour really is a sight to behold when the sun is rising. It's actually quite peaceful this time of night. So fist tech can't be extended. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Let's meditate until morning. Hopefully the sun is shining. So I won't want to take bets. Yeah, <laughs> not really. There are a lot more people around this time of day. We've got ourselves at our first notice board. We'll buy books. We'll purchase books, content not important, as long as they're bound in attractive leather and have titles written in gold plate. I wish to display them in my salon in a bid to lend my domicile gravity and sophistication. Helmut Altberg, Cotton Merchant. 
Bulk Pros Delivery. Tuesday next, a deliver of the latest Kedwenny Pros will be made to the warehouse near Hierarch Square. Only bulk buyers welcome. Lessons in Savoir Vivier. Which knife should be used when eating fish? Is it fitting for a lady to walk without holes in hot weather? Should a white wine glass be held by the stem or by the cup? Anyone aspiring to rub shoulders with Novigrad High Society will receive answers to these and other similarly vexing questions for a trifling fee by inquiring with Count Nougat, a world authority in matters of Saviour Vivier. Portrait Artist Wanted I am in need of a portrait artist to paint a likeness of my beloved daughter. This portrait is needed in order to finalise the betrothal contract of which she is to enter with a young man from Kavir. Note that the canvas should be ornamented without an exaggerated emphasis on realism, concentrating instead on bringing out my darling's character. Martin Earhart Oh, contract! issued by the Temple Guard of the City of Novigrad. Fellow followers of the flame, great, that's a fantastic start. In recent days, several officers of the Temple Guard have been ravished to death in a most bestial manner. An investigation has been launched to look into the matter, so the perpetrator shall soon feel the iron grip of justice closing around his throat. Anyone able to help the guardsmen track down and punish this murderer, or murderers as the case may be, is asked to report to the nearest guard post at once. A reward is foreseen. It is likewise hereby announced that any man aiding or abetting these bandits or withholding evidence regarding these crimes shall be punished by torture, imprisonment or even death. Sergeant Gilbert Witsk uh, Gwent Vimy Vivaldi cheats. To all players, the dwarven banker Vimy Vivaldi is a villain and a cheat. Using typical non-human trickery, he conned his way to victory over me, then forthwith demanded I surrender my cards, without the slightest consolation or giving me the chance for a rematch. Anyone tempted to play with him, resist or regret. A well-wisher. Ah, he's not going to be that bad. Hey, you! Yes, you! You got water on the brain! Who the hell was talking then? Contract Deadly Delights. Now, how close is this? It's something... Yeah. Why not? We'll go and do this now. So the Pires of Novigrad. I think Vivaldi must be there, right next to the centre of town. Uh, I'm sure Triss won't mind me dealing with this contract first, after all this... Beast or murderer, whoever it is, has uh, killed quite a few guards, so we best deal with it ASAP. Rain, I like rain. Oh, must be a lot of dock hands oh, coming through here. Excuse me. Burgers and purchasers of the free city of Nervigan. I'll make you win. Master Claytop, that would be me, has the honour to announce the betting is now open. Is it? Georgius George, known also as Pile Driver, is the name of our tavern's champion. Will anyone dare try to dethrone our reigning king? Chinchies! Stop trying to tempt me. Stop it. What'll it be? Uh, d no, just. Guards? Guards? No? Not today. I say not today. What are you serving? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. yes. Okay, right. Double fan of scout. Thank you very much. Siege technician. Ooh, medic. Yoink. Ackerman defender. And Barclay else. Not bad. That's going to be Skyatel, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so Redanian herbal. Mandrake cordial, cherry cordial, that's what we need. So we need a cherry cordial, and I'm gonna buy another mandrake cordial. I think that'll do. Farewell. Pleasure doing Your business. We'll come back for a bruising another time. Oh, well, you'll be getting the bruising, not me. And it's raining again. We've got more henchmen. Siggy Wooven's henchmen. We know who that is. 
Siggy Reuven also goes by the name of Dijkstra. And our paths should be crossing not too far into the distant future. Plenty of drunks throughout this town. Oh. Hmm. What's this to do with? This isn't one of the captains to take him to Skellige, but he was talking like that. Let's see what he's after. Maybe he just he's got something to do with us. Power of the eternal fire. No! The power of the eternal fire is not with me. Stop it! A witcher? Oh. Hear about the notice by chance. Uh what notice? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. I time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. And which are shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? <laughs> Sorry, I have to, uh, no, so I guess it's going to be mostly me that's going to be getting this black pearl for you. Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Black Pearl. Yes, we'll see you there in, like, 50 episodes, if we ever get out of Novigrad. I've only just got here and it's trying to take us to Skellige. I'm knackered. You are, are you? Okay. It's nice to know. What's that about? Oh, it's just another. <laughs> the Redanian army needs you now. Enlist and become a hero of the North. I'm good, thanks. Where is the fish market? And we've got ourselves an armor smith over here, I think this is. Let's soon find out. We've got an old man just stood in the way, excuse me. Need something sharpened? Reforged? Uh, let me see what you're peddling. You craft yeah, let's see, uh, do the crafting one. Like you to craft something for me. Think you can? Right, so, armor smith, or uh, no, it's a swordsmith. It's a swordsmith, okay. Uh, right, so we need level 18, so we're still quite a bit away from getting the enhanced, well, enhanced griffin sword. Where's the feline sword? I've not, I've not got it yet, have I? Of course not. That's the feline steel sword enhanced. And there's the Viper stuff, which we don't need to worry about. Okay, let's jump to his shop. See if he's peddling anything interesting. Skellige Longsword. Torlun, level 23. Not for us quite yet. Some more ruin stones. However, so you got 70, so that's the same as us currently. I need to get rid of this armour. And he pays quite a little bit for it, can't you see? So... Get rid of that, get rid of that. And that, that, that. Oh, no, Mish. Oh, 329. Um, I might buy some off him to recoup that value. What should we get? Moran, a chance to poison. Uh, fucking hell, 200. Um, yeah, why not? Right, let's get that. Sell that. And mastercrafted silver. I can dismantle that for actual silver. And I can dismantle that. I can sell this, can't I though? 25, that's not great. Let's have a look at our dismantling, shall we? 
Um, oh, we've got... We'll sell that instead. Um, Mastercrafted silver. There we go. Do there, we've got ourselves up to 7,000 crowns now. Sell, 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 sell. And we'll leave you with a little bit of cash left over, friend. Well, actually, I think I'll sell that too. Pleasure. So long. It's quite a good rune stone we've picked up there as well. Very expensive one, 3% chance to poison. Uh, okay. Oh, it's just ahead of us. Freak! The dungeon! That's where you belong! Fucking what? Fucking what? You talking to me, sir? That's better, you better hadn't be. Rain was coming. Felt you. Hmm? It's that polite, yeah? Alright. This is why you know this probably hasn't been done yet. I'm here about the contract. Oh, well. A night patrol got massacred. Tough men, the law, armed to the teeth. A beast must be. Must? What makes you say that? If you've seen the corpses. What did the corpses look like? I've not seen anything like it in my life, and I've seen a lot of corpses. Ever heard talk of folk who died in the deserts of Zeracania from the heat alone? These corpses came straight out of those tales. Oh, where are the bodies? Let's talk about my pay. Uh, I'd like to talk about my pay. Um, get a bit more out of him, yeah, go on. Let's talk about my pay first. I know what my services are worth. Oh, yes, you do, girl. Right, let's just, let's just go straight. Three, two, four. Well, that's better, but still too much. B09. Alright. I believe I can pay you that. Provided, of course, that you do well. Okay, where are the bodies? Bodies buried yet? Where? Orders were to burn them. Our medic was to take a look first. Talk to him. He's at the docks now. See what I can do. We'll pay you. The boys and me, we pulled what we had for a reward. You damn right you'll pay me. Rain was coming. To the fish market. We got another vendor here. What oh, we do? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> now we're just going up with more creative ways to ask for a round of cards. What have you got there? Uh, wow, okay, he's got a lot more than I was first anticipating. Take that bison grass. Ghouls and owl ghouls. Go buy it. Read for edition. Oh, I'll buy it off him, why not? Uh, we were starting to run out of prey on here, weren't we? So I'll, I think I'll actually buy all eight of that. He's not selling. How are you selling? That's blood moss. Nostrix, nope, nope. Eh, I'll do. So long. Now we just got some more information then about ghouls and owl ghouls. To find out. Uh, let's close up a lot of these. Head harbour side and have a chat with the medic. Up past the golden sturgeon. That's the inn we were just in. They didn't look too friendly up there. This medic really is out of the way, isn't he? Nearly. Oh, that was nearly an accident. Ooh. You're the medic. What can I help you with? I'm looking into the dead guards. 
Heard you did autopsies. Did their friends hire you? Good. I'm happy to help. Okay, uh, find any wounds in the bodies. Where were the bodies found? No, the bodies were dissected. Find any claw or fang marks on the bodies? Fangs? No. Claws? Not quite. Only scratches. Fingernails, most likely. From their adventures with whores. Last body. Where was it found? In a side alley along the road from the docks to the brothel district. Someone had dropped it there in the middle of the night. Need to examine that spot. Heard the bodies were desiccated. Do you believe a beast killed them? I don't. The bodies were dried out. But perhaps they tried to apprehend a mage who cast a nasty spell on them. Was it dehydration? Strictly speaking, no. Though I don't quite know what to compare it to. Thanks. Should go see the place where they were found. Good luck. Hmm. White one. Take a gander over here. Now then, so from them three little bits of information we just got off that medic, we can deduce that it could very well have something to do with the brothel over this side of the harbour. So finding a body in the middle of the night and evidence of scratches could match up, could just be a coincidence. In either case, we will find out one way or another very shortly. Straight out over the dock now. Yeah, getting close to the crime scene now. Bodies were found here. Gotta look for clues. Anything unusual? Footprints. Hobnailed guards' boots. Unimportant. Anything? Yep, more footprints. And child's footprints. Damn, lots of foot traffic. Of course there's going to be lots of foot traffic. We're in the middle of the city after all. Hoofprints, clearly. A horse? Hmm, no horse I know walks on two legs. Interesting. Where are they coming from? I guess coming this way, isn't it? Let's follow the hooves. Fine mess you made back there at Loch Moeen. You better hope not. Why is this leading? We've been down here before. Yes, because that's where we read the notice on part of it. Watch it, Tram. No regrets, not your stomping ground. The thinking castle seems right away up for the best deals this side of the Pontar. Evidence all points to crippled Kates. Crippled Kates, it is. Okay, I guess we're chatting with the brothel's owner. It's time to go. What? We're locked? Really? To go around the front way, I guess, then. Hey, Jackie. You're the oldest of tales. That's where these two henchmen were. Ah, yeah, it's gonna be through here, isn't it? Ripple Kids. Grab another lass to join us. No discounts, no, no credit. I was thinking you'd be us two and you. No. What with the state you two are in, you've got to fluff each other first. Where are we? Oh, she's there. Greetings. Oh, here it is. The apocalypse. A witch has walked into my brothel. What's strange about that? What's strange is you. Everyone knows witches are freaks, mutants, unnatural. And this is a decent brothel for whores with principles. Well, spit it out. You've got all the same bits in your trousers like a normal lad. Last I checked, everything was where it should be. Heh, <laughs> good response. Uh, 
Right. Heard about the murdered guards. Right, let's see if she's selling us anything. Got anything to sell? Uh okay, no, not really. Perfume, flowers. That's it. So, from the top. Heard about the murdered guards? Heard about the murders? Guardsmen? Many perish round here. It's the pleasure to have some. She's clearly lying. All the clues lead here. Tell me the truth. Do you know what? You you were quite rude. And it rude to me then, so fuck it. Tell the truth. The succubus. It draws customers. It's raised our take in something wonderful. I know it's a threat, but I don't know that it kills. A succubus. Where will I find it? I've placed it in a house nearby. Here's the key. Much better. See? Not hard to be polite, is it? Okay, so it was a succubus that's been causing these murders, and Cripple Kate's owner was part responsible for hiding the succubus out. Now the question is, is this succubus fully responsible? My wife's mum's an old succubus. Ironic you say that. <laughs> yeah. Locked. And the key that she's given me does not work. She swindled me? No. It's gonna be higher up. Back entrance, perhaps? Yes. Who are you? Never heard of witchers. Have you come to kill me? You got it. Uh, no, I, I, I don't want to kill you if I don't have to. Let's, let's talk. Don't know. Want to talk first? Why'd you kill those guards? I was careless. Let them surprise me. They wished to kill me. I had to defend myself. That it? No heart-rending story about human hatred for all things different, all things strange? I'm not one to lie. Nor do I kill without reason. Uh, see, with the guards, the eternal fire, they could easily be manipulating the situation. Like she said, the guards could have tried to kill her, so I, I believe her. We're not going to kill her. you got to leave the city. And what if I don't? I'll have to kill you. I despise change. How stupid of me to walk into an ambush, let myself be surprised. I'll have to lie about killing you. Usually I bring a trophy. Very well, take this. And this, because I'm furious with you. Though I shall calm down once I'm away from this place. Furious with me? I just saved your life! I mean, I guess I didn't have to take the contract, but... Still, at least she isn't being hunted anymore. I was very lenient there with my choices, so... See if there's anything up here. No. Damn, I thought there might be something good up here. Okay, collect our award from the guard. Now, he better give me the money, because obviously we haven't killed her, so we don't have a proper trophy. We've just got a little bit of a trophy. Because we don't have a head, which I imagine that's what the guard imagined as a trophy. Turn up fire preachers, jeez. What you Guards were killed by a succubus. Succubus? In Novigrad? How? Light of the eternal fire protects the city. Must have gone out a few times recently. Anyway, succubus won't harm anyone anymore. Here's proof. Masterful work, Witcher. And here's your reward, as promised. 
Farewell. Hey, he didn't swindle me. Fucking miracles do happen. Ooh, leveled up as well, very nice. Should be a, a nice way to cap off this episode, I think. The L, 200 plus experience. That is quite impressive. And 309 crowns. Boy, am I glad I bartered for a bit more. Sorry, lady. I'll get out of your way. Um, okay, let's get back onto the quest we're after. The Pyres of Novigrad. And in the next episode, if everything goes as planned, we should get to meet everyone's favourite redhead, Triss Merigold. <laughs>